Do you know that the things which are free are the most valuable, like sleep, peace, joy, air, water, light, true love, and our breath? But the irony is that these are the very things we neglect the most. These are the things which we cannot get even after spending crores of rupees. The biggest reason is that we don't appreciate these things. That is our running life. And this wrong belief of ours, that's how life goes. We play different role and duty in our life. Maybe you are someone's son or daughter, someone's father or mother, or someone's husband or wife. But have you ever felt that you are tired of doing your duty, you don't have time for yourself? Have you ever felt like you don't have a life of your own, and you're just doing your duty? Actually, in the fast packed world, we live in that's why we feel like this, like we don't have a personal life, like we're all alone in the world. In today's run of the mill life, we need everything and urgently needed. Today, no one has enough time to take a few moments and think about his life. There is also a solution for this, which you will find in the next video. In this video, you will get to learn peace of mind, courage, and knowledge. So let's start with a story. Once upon a time, a sad and troubled person goes to a Buddhist monk and tell him, Monk, I am very depressed. Please tell me some way to take away my sorrows. Buddhist monk asked the man, Who do you think is responsible for your suffering? The man said, This society, this people, my family, this world and my circumstances. The Buddhist monk smiled after hearing this answer from the man and say, What do you feel when you are sad or happy? Is this world responsible for your sadness or happiness? If you are thinking like this, then you are thinking completely wrong. It really depends on you how you look at the world. The world has not given us poverty, sadness, or happiness. Rather, the information we take from this world, our mental state is determined by this, that how would we feel? Actually, the human mind is made in such a way that negative thoughts come first. The nature of a human being is such that he thinks negative things before positive. The truth is that we have to find moments of happiness in our lives. We have to prepare our ourselves so that we can be happy in every moment and situation. Because happiness doesn't depend on chance. It's up to you whether you want to be happy or not. There is a very famous saying of Gautam Buddha. What you see shows who you are means our attitude depends on our personality and thinking. Like if we are negative, then everything in the world will seem negative to us. And if we stay positive, we'll see everything in a positive light. As in the eyes of Buddha, every human being was a form of Buddha. If you are happy from inside, then this world is a happy place for you. From inside, but if you are sad, all you will see is sadness. It all depends on our perspective. People react differently to the same situation, and this reaction can also give peace to their mind and sometime headache too, like someone's having a bad day. So then he starts looking at everything and every event by linking it, but this thinking is wrong. People must think he is thinking all this in anger and anger is a short-lived emotion. Notice when all your emotions get the better of you, so that you can stop those feelings from taking over you, because these temporary feelings of anger and anxiety can wrongly influence important decisions in your life. As I said earlier, anger is a temporary emotion. That will settle down on its own after a while. You treat it like a cloud, which is now in the sky and will disappear by itself in some time. If not, then wait it out. At this point, you can also do some exercises to calm yourself down. As you focus on your breath, let yourself be completely calm and loose. The man asked the Buddhist monk the next question. How to deal with feelings like anger, hatred, and jealousy? Because these feelings often make us very tired. Buddhist monk said, awareness. Being aware of your thoughts is the first way by which you can change your mindset. The Buddhist monk asked the man, What is your first reaction when you feel bad? The person answered, I try to suppress that negative feeling there or doesn't accept it, or try to quickly divert my mind. After hearing this man's answer, the Buddhist monk smiled and said, But let me tell you all these efforts are in vain, because in the end these negative feelings can get over you. The person asked, Then what should I do in such a situation? The Buddhist monk said, 
The next time you are overwhelmed by negative emotions and you feel sad. So look at it like it's a feeling. It's not even a part of you, like a pedestrian. Looking at another person walking down the street, admit it's not part of you, so how can it bother you now? Although this kind of awareness, you'll need a lot of practice. If you learn to do this once, then believe me, you will feel very calm and light inside. Negative emotions are not permanent part of our lives, nor will it ever be, nor does it define us. That's why pay careful attention to each negative emotion that arises within you. Let negative thoughts come. Do not try to suppress them by force, or else they will never leave you. It is not possible to control every negative emotion you have, because you will get angry and you will jealous too, and you will be sad too. But these feelings come and go, after that, you will feel happy and calm, and you have to wait for that moment. The man asked the Buddhist monk the next question. Monk, how important are relationships in our lives, and how to make deeper relationships and new friends? The Buddhist monk said, maintaining good relations with others, people feel safe. It also helps in maintaining mental peace. In times of trouble, people need such a person who stood by them, I thought that someone dear to you would leave you. So, will your expensive cars be able to console you? Will your luxurious house help you out of trouble? No, because things cannot take the place of humans. No matter how rich you become, but in times of trouble, only your family and your true friends will help you. If you have trouble in making new friends and maintaining good relationships, so first of all, change your attitude. Stop making your opinion about people without knowing them well. The more you live your life with an open mind and heart, the more easily you will be able to understand people. Most of the time it happens that we make our opinion about someone without letting them know properly. We already assume that the person will be like this or that. That's why take some time to get to know others. Maybe your opinion about the person in front will change completely. Remember one thing. True friendship will happen only when you will be true. When you talk with an open heart, then only the person in front will dare to talk to you. Remember, everyone tries to avoid a cold person. This is about making new friends, but if you already have friends and relations, and their relationship with you is on the verge of break, then what should you do? Always remember one thing. Maintaining a good relationship is like sitting by the fire on cold nights. Like if you sit too far away from fire, you won't feel the warmth, and if you sit too close, you'll feel the heat. Just like that, when the closeness increases more in a relationship, so boredom often sets in. That's why you have to strike a balance in your relationship. Of course, strengthen your relationship, but don't keep it so close that the other person starts feeling suffocated. There should be some distance in relationships too so that you always have a strong relationship with your friends and close people. The person asked the Buddhist monk the next question. What people will say? How to overcome this fear? Buddhist monk said, Now the three things I'm going to tell you, tie them knots. All these three things will work to keep you happy. First things first, people won't be as interested in you as you'd like to be. The monk asked the person, do you remember what your friend wore last week? And what did he eat? The person said, No, I don't remember. Then Monk said, Since you don't remember small things of others, then how much would they remember about you? And when people don't even remember about you, what's the use of worrying that what will people say? Actually, people don't think of us as much as we think. The second thing, it is not necessary that everyone likes you. Do you like everyone? Of course, no. Then why do you expect from others that they like you? If someone likes you, then it's good. And if they don't, then it doesn't matter. You shouldn't care about someone's likes or dislikes. Learn to accept these things. It's all part of life. It is not possible to keep everyone happy then why should we worry so much about everyone? Third thing, most of the things we do, in the name of others, we are actually doing for ourselves. 
That's why being honest with yourself is also a big deal. Open your heart, and the world will open its heart for you. But if you become selfish, the world will also take out its selfishness. Everyone prays that his family remain safe. Why? Because they love their family. People are afraid to think least anything happened to their spouse or child because they are afraid of being alone. If seen, every human being is selfish from inside, unless one becomes Buddha or Mahavir. It is difficult to avoid selfishness. That's why think only what makes you happy. Sounds very easy, doesn't it? Life-changing things are simple. We just make it difficult. So instead of worrying about what it will be, focus on what you can do in the present. The Buddhist monk further said, in Buddhism and Hinduism, people believe in a principle. What is called the principle of karma, the principle says that what you do, so shall you pay. That means a person gets the fruits of his deeds. That's why if you want everything good in life, then start doing good deeds. If you want success, prosperity, and happiness in life. So start working hard with honesty and doing right deeds. After saying this, the Buddhist monks ended their talk. Even that troubled person had got the answers to his questions. He thanked the Buddhist monk for the information and went from there. Guys, I hope you liked this story and got to learn something good. Thank you.